think it's a, what would you call it? Ma automatic mass relay? Something like that. I don't know. I, yeah, it was it, originally a railgun. And we've worked on a couple of different concepts together, and I think we've figured out how to do this. The problem is getting the player level so that it actually fires you in a straight line, so that then in theory you could have another one of these set up and players could use them as a kind of acceleration gate system. Now, the problem with that is if you dock and undock, it's, that's fine, but you've got to actually dock and undock, so you can't automate it, and it can't be done sort of smoothly. So this is what we've come up with. It's kind of like a cartridge loading system, I guess. And uh, what's happening here is you fly your core in, you level, um, go left and down. So I'll just demonstrate it now. So I'm going to go in here like this, hold shift so it doesn't bounce, press C, go left and then down. I'll just show you what that looks like at the moment in build mode. B. That's where I'm at right now. And if you get it perfect, you can reverse back. And there we are, go left a bit. There you go, see we're going backwards now, and we're actually nearly inside. Now, what's going to happen is when I reverse back, there's an area activation gate that he's put in, which both opens the doors, and then on a timer, shoots off this pulse. So I'm going to go backwards now, and you're going to see... Oh, whoops, I actually messed it up. <laughs> I don't know what it was. <laughs> we have a misfire! It's alright. Hold on, let me just make Holding sure. C, getting down... It may just... Oh, let me just make sure it's all working properly. There. Yeah, it should do the trick. Should be working. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? If it's not, then it just requires a little bit of troubleshooting. But, it has successfully worked in the past. So oh, yeah, it has. Don't worry just so that. everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, we didn't just make this. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I put it in here, turn myself around, go down, look. You caught on the edge, there you go. I think I moved, I think it's moved, yep. mate. Now I'm on orientation again. Okay, so there we go, there we go, we move back. And off we go. So yeah, counting at 400, so, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000 meters. 1000 meters. And since I'm recording here, I'll show you the quick reset. It literally takes all of this. You roll up to the front, hit R a few times, and actually I need to do a cowling around here so that, you, so that when you fly up to it, you can just click with your docking beam once and it'll cover all of them. But yeah, that's reset 1400, Yeah, 1400 meters at max speed. So obviously we're using a sort of slide loading system that out of plex doors, and when it closes, when it opens rather you don't collide with it but you can still use it to align hang on i just overshot <laughs> yeah i'm coming back saved as mass relay one go in let's see now i'm interested to actually find out All boom right. oh <laughs> actually really funny to ride this thing. So didn't go as fast one, that time. Well, that time actually this thing didn't, um, the doors didn't open, so I think uh, if you launch it again, I think that the, the trick will be once you're done, hit the activation block yourself again, mm. and you, because the problem, the problem is that the doors, when they open, you have to go out and manually close them. Um, oh, right. Well, you just have to have a circuit to, to close them right, right. in the same pulse. You can right. do that. Yeah, I just think it's, it, it's the way it that the activation block works, actually. Um, no, 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 no. I so think watch, I know why. I know why You're it's doing what flying. it's doing. Just got out in time. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, here's here's my thought. Because if I close I these regularly... This. Well, I can here's fix the thing. this for you. Here's the thing. I know if how I to fix it. If I close this regularly, it's going to cause problems, so if I just do that... Don't close it regularly. Yeah, just hit the close activation no, block no. and work fine. Yeah, that's... No, no, this is the... The reason it's not working is because you haven't split your rolls in the circuitry. You just... You need an activation block off the area, and then you need another activation block for the actual door. That yeah. way, you can invert the signal back into the activation for the door at the end. Well, I can do that already. Well, you... If you want to... All right. I just need another delay module. 
Well, that too, but that's not what I'm. Well, what because I mean. if I, because all it is is if I take this right. delay module here, stick it to <laughs> another delay module, you know, or two, to wait, and then tie it back to. Well, no, actually, yeah, you're right. I will have to play with that a little that, bit. That's what I mean. You end up creating yeah. a loop. That's why, if you run it all in in in, uh, that's what I'm saying. You you end up with a loop. So. And you can't obviously have another activation to the same door. So you have an activation right. for the door circuit, and you have an activation for the trigger circuit, and then the uh, then you can you can trigger the yeah, activation to the door twice off one pulse. Yeah, it'll take some tweaking, but again, this is a you can pretty do good it. concept. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. There's nothing. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying <laughs> you can have it open, wait, and close off of one trigger yep. in. That's what I'm, yeah. that's what I'm I, saying. I figured out why the door wasn't opening that second time. So, right. No worries. You want to do one more quick launch? Yeah, we'll do one more. Yeah, and then uh, call it a uh, call it a, call good. a good one. The, uh, going Actually, inside, you know what? Going inside, I think it's my inside. turn to get launched. And get in, and well, you'll have to you'll have to beat me to it because I'm going. <laughs> All right. Oh no, no, it's gonna it's gonna. Yes, I'm in. Mine orientation. We're good. Boom. I'm gone. And I'm gone. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Six hundred. Yep. <laughs> it works yeah, I'm quite still well. At 60. I'm still because if you're at a thousand meters and you're doing over 45, you're doing well. Yeah. And this is on a 100. We're, we've got a 100 kph limit at the moment. We're just yeah. testing it out. Yeah, it works quite well. Mm. And assuming you had a few of these, you could even ostensibly set up a not a station, but you know. If we well, took, you can, you, if we put, well, if we took the spot at the very back here, and I know you can't see this, Tom, but my viewers will be able to see it. Um, mm. If we took this spot and then we just did this in four directions or six directions, actually, you could get launched in any direction. It would just basically be replicating this on each face of a die. Yeah. Think of that yeah. as each face of the die um, in a cube, and then you can choose which direction it is that you need, you want to go. You just dock that up to a home base, and you're good to go. So it'll never move. Done. Finished. We got it. We done it. It's done. Yup. Like so it. yeah. Kind of a cool thing. Indeed. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take it easy.